Uh, so ha hello everyone. So today um it is the last class uh all about the Lua script. Uh, so after today, the all the topic about the Lua Lua script uh tutorial are all over. So if you guys have some question for deeping use usage of Lua script, please contact with us. Okay, so we will support one, 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 one. <laughs> so um, and uh, because because the 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 about the MQTT topic, we already have held a one one training meeting before. So uh, so if it if it is not our uh, meaning focus. Uh, today, so if you guys are are not familiar with uh this uh Lua MQTT client, you you guys can can go to our uh YouTube channel to 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 re review this video, okay? To to check how how to test it, how to connect with with the MQTT server, okay? So uh. We we will more fo uh concerned about the 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 practic practical practical operations uh on uh, today's meeting. Okay, l uh let's get started. So uh today we are divide into four parts of uh today's meeting. One is uh what what is open cloud. And the second one is uh, Huawei IoT D DA setup, and the third one is the product model model data create, and the last one is the uh, open cloud function demonstration. Okay, so um, the first one is the uh, what's the open cloud? So may maybe some of you are uh, no don't understand what is open uh, open cloud. So I will test tell some uh, concept uh, of it. So what is open cloud? Uh, on the support center and uh, the on our official we we call official website we have some uh, describe on on it. Uh, this is um, generally is for Webox. But but it is no much differences between HMI and Webox, so I directly take it. Okay, so you can you guys can see uh this, this picture picture the we can we can um, uh how how to say that so uh it we can use it to connect to the some kind of the third party server right. So from uh, this picture, like the the Huawei cloud, like Ali cloud and AWS Amazon. So um, you guys um you guys can regard regard as the the open cloud is a uh, advanced version uh Lua Lua MQTT okay. So because uh but. Uh, notice that it is not not the uh, uh, official uh, meaning because uh, just to make 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 you uh, guys uh, more understandable. So it is it is just just to allow us to connect to the third party server. Okay, well MQTT. So I make some um. Summarize, summarize on uh, the differences between uh, uh, common M Lua MQTT and the uh, open cloud. So we for the we box, for we box the we we need to use the another open cloud platform rather than the WinNet platform, right? So this is the first differences. And the second one, the open cloud platform, we need, we will be able to upload the certificate file, right? And uh, the open cloud have some uh, designed Lua functions. 
So uh, this is the uh, certificate file interface we can upload into the Open Cloud platform for Webox. And uh, this is uh, the Open Cloud function, Open Cloud function for the Webox. Lua, Lua functions. So this is the for the Webox, Open Cloud. And then the second one is for HMI. HMI is uh, just uh, these two differences. Uh, one is the Open Cloud uh, configuration on uh, PI Studio and uh, Open Cloud Lua designed function. So uh, this is the Lua function for the HMI, H HMI side. So here, here is the the tab, the tab Open Cloud uh, configuration tab on the uh, the PI Studio. Okay. So so this is uh, the differences between the uh, Lua MQTT and the uh, Open Cloud. So a any any question for this part? If not, we we are we are moving to the next part. So, Huawei IoT DA setup. So, uh, today we we are mainly using this uh, Huawei Cloud to to demonstrate the, the uh, Open Cloud function. Okay. So the first is to set up the uh, Huawei. Cloud the uh, MQTT envi environment. Okay, so the first is to find the option of the IoT device access. This this is for MQTT. Okay, and then to create the product, and uh, this is this is our uh, step to create. The, the product uh, of MQTT. So the, the protocol must be MQTT, otherwise we cannot access with server. And the data type uh, JSON. Then we go to the uh, regist register our, our device, our HMI device. So uh, this, this, for example, this node name, and uh, after filling this field, field name, then it will give us the this device ID and the device secret. Then we use this one to to go to the online MQTT uh, client ID generator to to generate the MQTT parameter. Like this, uh, client ID, use username and the password. Okay. So uh, after all this done, then we can, we 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 have the MQTT environment, right? And uh, this one, this step is optional. It's uh for the uh like the we want to use this uh, security security uh, MQTT. Then we can we can use this um, uh, uh, certificate file uh, upload into the HMI, but uh, because uh, due to some uh, issue of uh, 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 PI Studio, so today I use uh, not security MQTT part. Okay, so I I will uh, escape. Skip this this step. So.
So here is my account console. Okay. So here we can see this. Uh, I register my HMI device. Okay. So here's uh, IOTDA. So is here. And I re register my HMI and go to go here and uh, so we can see my device is uh, is online. So uh, the next step is is uh, to create the product model 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 data. So uh, this is for uh, su subscribe and uh, publish Lula, okay. So uh, we need to go product and to, to view this view the mo model model and to customize our uh, the message format uh, we want to design. And uh, add this service, and uh, add this property. Uh, I uh, in my uh, demonstration, I add two property. One is uh, run or not, and one is the fan fan speed. Okay, so uh, this is this is the uh, the JSON format uh, later I will using in uh, uh, my MQTT demo uh, project. Okay, so this is uh, this is Huawei required format I need to use. So uh, if we using the uh, if we using the uh, MQTT tool test, uh, test to tool or HMI, uh, publish, publish, sorry, pub publish the data into the Huawei server. If show show like show on the this on this interface, which means uh, our uh, data is uh, construct uh, successfully. Okay, so the uh, Huawei uh, server's topic format should be like this one. So we we can see this device device ID is is from here. This this device ID is from the from the beginning. When we get this one. Okay, this re register our de device. We using this one. So, so my my topic format will be like. So here is my my topic format, right? So this is this is the this is the topic I used. So now I, for example, I operate on my HMI. So here now now is uh, on. On my fan, as the speed is forty-five, right? And uh, we can go to the mm. so right now is the fan speed is seven seventy-five on the platform, right? So now I click publish. And back to the uh, platform, so we can see the the data is update update into the uh, Huawei cloud. Okay, 
so so which means uh my uh mqtt uh connection is set up successfully so uh this is the second part uh of of uh the Huawei uh environment mqtt setup So above all the content we I'm refer from the Huawei Cloud Help Center. If you guys know clear about this part, you can check the following link. Okay. So we. Wait a moment, my computer. So you guys can can check on here about how to how to operate on the uh, Huawei Cloud. If you you guys don't have a question, then we move on the uh, next part. And the uh, next part is about the uh, open cloud function demonstration. Okay. So because uh on the previously we said about the open cloud we have uh uh a designed uh in interface on the PI Studio. So we need to go to the cloud and open it this uh, open cloud tab okay then we add the new book group and the new channel we want to upload on into the subparty server okay so this name uh, should be uh, consistent with the server name on the platform so because my my server service name on the Huawei platform is the fun speed and run so and this file info so i i used uh, i create like like this and one one is the uh bit bit address and another one is the sign word address word address So uh so here we need to construct uh our JSON data, right? So so uh let's back to our so you guys can see this um this JSON format is like this. So uh the first the first la layer layer is the the service right and uh, it is uh quote by the uh this bracket curly bracket okay so so it is a uh, key key value key value um key value uh how to say that is key value format 
and then the second layer you can you guys can see it is um, square brackets okay so which means it, it is uh, uh, it is the, the table table format okay the table format So it is table format, and uh, the the next layer, uh, uh, is sent to the top layer, right? So it is the key value, key ma key value setting. So uh, only only this square brackets we need to no notice that we need to put we need to put the table into the into the message or we want to we want to publish okay so uh let's back to let's back to here so we can see the here i construct uh any any uh initiate initiate a table table variable right and i put the put the data into this uh, first element of this table okay so this this is the how we work uh, how we work on the lua script so this one we we need to notice if you guys uh, uh meet uh this kind of um, data construction you need, need to no notice uh this part so i uh, also i want to demonstrate some very very useful or uh open cloud function uh of the lua script okay so f like this one this one is the cloud get all data this one uh we can we can see this uh this script is like to get all the all the data with the meeting the condition so uh what what's the meaning it uh it means the it means the if uh like for example for example my uh my trigger condition is the when the value is changed right so if I operate the fun speed or this uh this beat long long beat then it will uh it will check 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 trigger trigger this condition okay so i I will show you show you guys how it works. So here is the I use my gain all data, right? So I download again into my uh my project. Wait for a while and wait the image my okay so so f for example I change my 
drum beat. Okay, so we can see on the debug message, it show one uh appear one JSON message on here on the de debug window. Okay, it, I change again. It it appear another one. So so according to the list, I I can I didn't need to using uh, uh this menu menu publish. Okay, so for example, when uh, when the speed uh like the switch is changed, I I can autom automatically to publish this message MQTT message. Okay, so uh for example, I here I to call the publish function so my publish function is this same data okay I combine this, this one So I download into my HMI again. So uh, we can see I I put my function is on the pulling pulling uh, script. So it is it will always run when uh, HMI is power on. So we wait for a while. So he, here is uh all zero, right? Now now I put on some like ninety nine. Sorry, the this 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 one I didn't make it on for. <laughs> Because I make it as the local 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 variable, so can you cannot call in the So since my my PS I I open another one. It didn't work. So my open my uh, MQDD demonstration project.
Now I download uh, my my project again. Now we reaching the uh, HMI online. So now, now I change my value, sound like uh, 99, okay. So we back to the Huawei, so we can see it is published successfully. Without I click menu click, this, this publish button, okay. So this, this I think a very uh, useful, uh, one of very useful open cloud function. And another one is the get data and set data. Actually, it is uh, it's uh, some kind of the uh, get like the uh, get word uh, set word, but it it is not need us to to know which uh, specific address it, it it is. Okay, so we just need to know the know the name of the name we set. Then we can get the value, okay? So like on my on my uh, on my demonstration project, here I use my data uh, data info group info to get this property name, right? Then we we put I put on into the uh, the JSON. This message. So here I use the get get data. So for example, I create another one. For example, I one channel, one channel, right? So So here, this is, is channel 1, right? So I can get this data. So put on channel and print the value. So I download into my HMI again. Wait for the HMI is online. So we can see the uh, it is print this channel one uh, value is zero, right? Because I didn't uh, initiate the HDW, uh, HDW fifty. So uh, it is how how it works. 
we we can directly use the name to get get the the data. And then the set set, set data is set, same to this one. So I uh now I'll demonstrate again. And uh, the the last one uh open cloud function I want to demonstrate is to uh these two. One is the set uh the data into the cache and uh, Another one is to get all the data from the cache. Okay, so uh, for example, like the if some uh, some user senior is to want to like one one hour to up upload some every five seconds uh, va values change. Okay, so. Then we can u use this 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 one this one to 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 record record the value okay. Uh, so for example, I I already put my uh, I need need to comment again. Okay. You always print. So I already put the the set cache and get cache. So here I I using my HDW one thousand to to operate. Okay. So uh, but uh, be no uh, please notice that this one we this set set cache. Function we must to must to use this uh, string format value. Otherwise, it will uh, give us error. So we some kind uh, we need to set the like number value like the wall like the fourteen number. We need to use this uh, two string function to to convert convert number into the string. Okay. So I don't download uh, into the HMI. So we wait for a while. So for example I save the no, first element. Uh first time operation value is fifty, okay? And then the second time is the fifty fifty five. Okay, click save. And uh, the third one is thirty. Click save. Now I I want to obtain all the data. Then it will return me a a two di dimensional array, right? But it actually actually it's uh because I I just operate one one uh one address so it is actually just one one dim, dim, dimensional table okay so I click this one so we can see this how it looks like uh, on the operate value store into the list table then we can use this table uh, upload into the uh, my our like Server, okay. Like no, uh, re recording recording value. So uh, please uh, be beware that if we once we uh, we call this function, then the cache 
will be clean okay so this one we need, need to notice so now if now I click this obtain again so we can see it will return a num so it's empty value okay so uh, this is how we work like so uh, this so any any part any question for this part So uh, if not, we, we are going to end me today's meeting, okay? So uh, thanks, thanks for you guys watching. See you, see you next time, okay? Bye-bye, bye-bye.